Lawrence? I didn't know you were MTF now. Oh, hey, Dr. Collingwood. Yeah, I transferred. An incident with SCP-106 left me colorblind, so this duty patrol seemed like a good fit. Did your endpoint in the recovery team? Yeah, it's been a little over 72 hours since exposure. So far, she still seems all there. Mm, then maybe she'll be one of the lucky ones. It was a nice catch by your unit to shut down the feed so quickly. Thank you. Though I'm still not sure how the footage was able to get by our informant. It's possible he himself has been compromised. He disappeared shortly before the incident. Well, continue the search. Unfortunately, until we can track down the source of this thing, exposure to SCP-2774 is bound to happen. Um, keep up the good work. Y yes ma'am. <clears throat> My apologies for running late. Oh, it's perfectly fine, Dr. Collingwood. Subject 1273 just regained consciousness a few minutes ago. Yes, and no one has answered any of my questions yet. Where am I? Am I under arrest? I want to speak to my attorney and- Ms. Neal, you are not under arrest. You have been escorted to a remote government location in order to receive treatment for a mimetic trigger you have recently been exposed to. I'm sorry, what? Please, just listen to what Dr. Collingwood is saying and try to remain calm. Thank you, Mr. Moore. About three days ago, you witnessed a local television program, a new segment titled West Kentucky Sports. Yeah, my son is one of the hosts. Every Tuesday night, they cover highlights for all the weekend's high school football and basketball games in our area. Did you happen to see anything peculiar during that particular airing? Uh, no. I, I, don't, I don't think so. You didn't happen to witness a strange entity resembling a man in a sloth suit? Wait, yeah, I did. I, I thought it was some kind of mascot or something, but it was standing in the background, barely even visible. What does that have to do with me? Around here, we refer to that creature as SCP-2774. It appears seemingly at random in most forms of non-live media. And about 40% of the people who witness SCP-2774 become entranced by it. Those affected will eventually begin to lose the ability to use cognitive functions or make higher level decisions. I'm sorry, is this some kind of sick joke? What are you guys even talking about? Miss Neal, we're here to help you, I promise. The odds are that you won't even be affected at all. So far, we have been unable to retrieve any medical history for you. It's a long shot, but do you happen to know if you suffer from deuteranopia or any other forms of colorblindness? I'm not colorblind, but why does that matter? Images of SCP-2774 only retain their anomalous properties if it contains hues of red or green. You said I'll lose all higher functions if I am affected. What exactly does that mean? Show her the tape. Yes, ma'am. Before we play this, just remember, you will receive nothing but the absolute best medical treatment possible here at this facility. Okay, go ahead, Matt. Hello, David. If you help answer a few questions, we can come closer to fixing you. Are you ready? I, I don't know. Just hurry. Since we have limited time, could you tell us what exactly you experience when you're not in control? Yeah, yeah, well... I guess it's like this. It's like you're being driven around. You're in the passenger seat, right? Except your arms and your legs are strapped down so that you can't move. You can't feel anything in your body either. You can't hold a thought for more than five seconds. It's hell. Are you alright? We can continue tomorrow if you like. It's fine. I, I just want to be able to control myself for a bit before I lose it. When you're stuck in there, in your own head, you just want to scream, but you can't. You could try for hours and hours, move an arm, a leg, make a sound. It won't happen. You can't even control when you breathe. And then the hallucinations, the sloth. I just, it's watching us. I, I can't face it again. I, I just can't. If you want to help us, please just kill us. It's the only way to stop it. There's just no point anymore. Okay, I believe that's enough. 
Okay, so there's a 40% chance that I end up like that man on the screen? Trapped in my own body, being controlled by some freak in a sloth costume? Yes. I'm sorry, Miss Neal, but we didn't show you that tape to scare you. We did it so you can make an informed decision. What decision? This location has housed every subject that has witnessed SCP-2774 since its discovery. At one point, they were allowed to participate in daily two-hour social interactions and had free time for breakfast, lunch, courtyard, and dinner. But after a series of violent outbursts, the Foundation is now forcing all subjects to remain in elusive-level humanoid containment cells at all times. I'm still not understanding the decision I have to make. In their brief moments of lucidity, subjects affected by SCP-2774 are erratic, emotional, and highly agitated. They're dangerous. So following the recorded interview log, the higher-ups in charge drafted Protocol XXJ-9 in an effort to help contain SCP-2774. We pruned the population of this site from approximately 6,000 subjects down to 200 in under a month. Termination was carried out by lethal injection. Oh my god, are are you going to kill me? No, not unless you want us to. What are you talking about? Normally, task forces in charge of controlling SCP-2774 off-site have been instructed to terminate anyone exposed instead of transporting them here. But you are a special case. We rarely get to a subject before they start to experience effects. So here's where your choice comes in. Your transformation could be complete any time in the next 24 hours or so. If you are part of the 40% that fall victim to the sloth, you'll be trapped in his control forever. Once a day, you might get a minute or two of full consciousness, but otherwise experience the same fate as David here on the tape. So, if you prefer, we can give you the lethal injection now. And before you ask, no, you won't be able to say goodbye to your kids. No one will know where you disappear to. To those outside the facility, you will have essentially vanished into thin air. But you won't have to deal with the torture of SCP-2774. We're not here to tell you to choose one or the other. If you don't take the injection, it's very possible you may end up completely unaffected. What happens in that case? We administer you an amnestic so you forget everything that happened over the last week. You'll feel groggy and disoriented for a while, but you will get dropped back into your home and will otherwise go back to your life as normal. But know what you are risking. Every second you don't take the injection, you chance spending the rest of your life as a slave to the sloth. The decision is up to you. I'm, I don't know. I, I, I don't even know how to respond to all this. I, I just... Hey, thanks for watching the video, and thanks to all our loyal supporters over on Patreon. Especially Chuck Axe, Darius Fulton, Monday, Vladimir Loera, Rock Sims, Michael Morales, Dr. Alto Clef, Catalyst Cat Sparkles, Scorpion, Guilty Pleasures, Dova King, Pumpkin Pyromaniac, and Brian B. Razzle Brown. What a great name. Anyways, that's it for this episode. See you all again November 8th.